Well, hello everyone. Today is Sunday, December 20th, 2020. So it's 2020, 20. Um, I cannot fathom that we're only five days from Christmas. That kind of snuck up on me. And I think it's fair to say I'm not quite ready. How about you? But I will, uh, we're not going to do anything too involved this year. Um, given COVID, we usually get together with, with a lot of uh, friends, but I don't think we're gonna be doing that this year because there's still, still the bug out there, but it's quite encouraging with the vaccine progress. So this week I am going to focus on the advent calendars and then I do have other wax as well, but I have two different advent calendars I've been working on. One is the Empire Alchemy Advent Calendar, and the other is the Collaborative Between Rainbow Melts and British Creepy Treasures. And wow, I'm having so much fun with these. I really had not done an Advent Calendar for wax before, and I am enjoying these tremendously. So let's get started. So first I'm going to talk about the Empire Alchemy um, Advent Calendar. And just as an example, that's what the little envelopes look like. So they're diff there's a different decoration each day, and I just think this is beautiful. Also, this one was long-lasting because it was from December 1st through December 25th, so quite a few different scents. So let me get started. I'm going to go fairly briskly through these because I think they're, they're all good and they're all fairly self-explanatory. First up was Wonderland of Snow. So this was Mac Apple, Ozone, Juniper, and Lily of the Valley. So it was a sweet floral, high throw, and I enjoyed it very much. These are all gonna be Empire Alchemy, this first set. Okay, next we have Winter Social. So this was um, Twilight from Lush, which is the lavender and tonka bean blend. So this was mixed with um, Twilight, Cashmere, and then 29 High Street. 29 High Street is a Lush blend that represents all of their scents. So it's supposed to smell like the store smells if you walk in their door. And while I enjoy that, it kind of, for me, it kind of um, muddied the beautiful twilight um, lavender scent that is also their trademark scent. And um, I enjoy this high plus throw, but like I said, I, I would have preferred just the twilight by itself, but that's just me. Next we have Snowfall, and this one was, oh, beautiful mint blend of Twisted Peppermint, Beth, Beth and Body Work type, Buttermint, and Cotton Candy Cocktail. So long lasting, this went for 12 hours. It was a sweetened mint blend, and I enjoyed that very much. Again, these are all from Empire Alchemy. Next for, from the same advent calendar was Merry Kiss, Kissmas which is um, olive branch, bergamot, aloe, moss, and fern. So wow, this was a nice change up, very fresh and green, big change from all the other holiday scents, and that was kind of nice, because I don't know about the rest of you, but you know, I've been doing a lot of pine, a lot of peppermint, a lot of pie, so it was kind of nice to have something green. Very strong, um, a primarily olive branch, the lush dupe, and it was um, long lasting. Next from Empire Alchemy, we had Cup of Cozy, and this was Earl Grey Tea, Dark Chocolate, Peppermint, Peppermint Stick, sorry, and Vanilla Lace. So, wow, this is nice. It was like a chocolate mint tea, and I would not have thought to blend those together. Beautiful. High throat, long lasting. Then we had um, last night's was Ba Hum, or yesterday, Ba Humbug, and this was patchouli, black pepper, oceanic amber, and blue spruce. So to me, this was absolutely Lord of Misrule cuts down his Christmas tree. So very Lord of Misrule, that beautiful patchouli, peppery blend, and then the, the spruce note. So I enjoyed that a lot. I wouldn't have thought to put those together either. Beautiful. Uh, then today we have Jingle Jangle, and this is a berry mix. We have pomegranate, cranberry, mulberry, teakwood, and black amber. So it's just very berrylicious. I'm not getting a whole lot of that teakwood. There's a little bit in the background. Nice high thrower, um, sweet and juicy. Like that a lot. And the one I skipped over, which was from the 15th, this was Bowl Full of Cheer. And this was um, berry musk, raspberry, and sugared oranges. To me, this smelled like tang, which I love. Remember the astronaut drink? For those of us who are ancient, like myself, 
This was the beverage that the astronauts took to the moon, so of course we drank this in abundance. So this tastes like tang with a fizzy note, and I loved it because it reminded me of my childhood. So that was this, this week from Empire Alchemy, and I am thoroughly enjoying that advent calendar. So the other advent calendar I'm working on um, was actually I won a, um, a giveaway, and this was... Um, smell you later who is Angie my friend Angie and thank you Angie so much she entered my name in that um, giveaway from Britta's creepy treasures and I won there were like 87 entries I can't believe that so wow I was so excited and this I'm enjoying this so much so it's a collaborative between Britta's creepy treasures and rainbow melts so I have long loved rainbow, rainbow melts but really was not too familiar with Britta's until very recently this is a great advent calendar also. So Britta told me that the two of them decided that um, Rainbow Melts Crystal would decide, would to do, <laughs> yeah, I can speak. She would do the traditional holiday shapes and, um, you know, festive tree, you know, Christmas light type forms. And then Britta would do her creepy stuff, so zombies and aliens. So it makes a really nice contrast and I'm enjoying this tremendously. So first up, and this one started on the 14th, I believe. So we had Mary Deathmus was the first offering from Britta. So this was eggnog, bayberry, and tis the season. Tis the season is a Bath and Body Works type. And very, this is kind of spicy, fruity, lightly spiced, very nice. So, oh, I love this. High plus throw and primarily the bayberry with a beautiful spicing in the background. So like a real rich scent. Very strong, long-lasting, and I loved that. So that was Derry, Mary Deathmas from Britta. So these alternate. One day you have Britta, one day you have Rainbow Melts So by Crystal. So the next day from Crystal, Rainbow Melts was Get Mary. And this was gingerbread applesauce, yellow butter cake, and white chocolate icing. So, oh, the white chocolate icing was just decadent. So you have the white chocolate icing on this beautiful apple yellow butter cake in the background so nice. It was mainly like white chocolate and a light, light apple cake. And I enjoyed this high throw, lasted forever, absolutely beautiful. So that was Get Mary from Rainbow Melts. Then switching over to Britta, the next day we had Krampus, and this one was Winter Nights, Icy Peppermint, Lavender, and Vanilla Ice Cream. And I enjoyed this very much. So you had the beautiful mix. It was like a creamy peppermint, then lavender also, and it was long-lasting high throw. So beautiful vanilla lavender peppermint mix from Britta. The day after that was Snow Cute from Rainbow Melt. So going back to Crystal, this was Palo Santo, Cranberry, and Smoked Vanilla. Wow, this was a powerhouse. Strong, strong, strong. So H high plus, 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 plus. Sweet and smoky, primarily the Palo Santo, a little bit of cranberry. Beautiful. So smoky, sweet, um, gorgeousness. Then the next day we went to Brit, back to Britta, and this was Mrs. Claus is Missing. So I enjoyed the name. And this was, again, a high plus throw. Um, this was hot chocolate ginger snap cookies and sweet and creamy. So I would never have put chocolate and ginger snap together, and it was gorgeous. So it lasted two days. I left that on in, in a different, I moved it to another room because I didn't want to pour it out last night. So it, has, it is still going, and this was just absolutely spectacular. So Mrs. Claus is Missing by Britta's Creepy Treasures. Yesterday from Rainbow Melts, uh, Crystal created ribbons and bows, and this was fruitcake, eggnog, and vanilla bean whipped cream. Beautiful. So it was like a fruitcake, so like a fruity bakery. Spicy cake, fruity, wonderful, high throw. My husband said, what is that? You know, can you get more of that? So I hope we can get more of that because really, really nice. And I should have mentioned that um, I enjoyed the zombie. I think that one was from Britta, Mrs. Claus is Missing. It was the zombie head. I really liked that, especially in a Christmas advent. So then today, my favorite name of the week, this from Britta, was Santa's Been Poisoned, and this is Sugar Cookie Royale, Sugar Cookie Dough, Chocolate Chip Cookie Dough, and Peanut Butter Cookies. So just cookie uh, abandon, a cookie not abundance is the word I want. So really gourmand, beautiful. Um, it's making me hungry. It's going in there strong now. And this one I put in a Scentsy um, 
uh, light bulb warmer. It's the Enchanted Pumpkin. And normally I love the Enchanted Pumpkin warmer. Don't get me wrong, it's my favorite melter, but it doesn't always throw so great. But this one, Britis wax is uh, on the softer side and it's really happy in that bulb warmer filling the house. High plus throw, so that Santa's been poisoned by Britis Creepy Treasures. So I am enjoying these Edmund calendars. So other scents I warmed this week, which um, were not from the advent calendars. I have a few things here, and I did travel for the last time, I might add, this week for work, and I took a lot of stuff with me, so I tried to keep busy. First up from Up the Creek Scents was Zucchini Jelly Donut Sugar Cookie. So this um, single blend is the thing that turned me on to zucchini this year, zucchini bread, beautiful. Um, that combination of kind of the savory zucchini bread with the jelly donut together is just so delicious. So I, I want this in my life forever from Up the Creek Scents. Next up from the Burning Mitten, and I, I received this as a random act of kindness, I believe from Cassandra, and I also um, got a set of Burning Mitten melts from my friend Deborah. Thank you, Deborah. So this, I love the oh. name. This, oh, thank you, Georgia. This is Apple Pie Family Crap. So I really love that name because that kind of sums up some aspects of all family gatherings. And um, this was long lasting apple pie and I got a really nice pastry note from that one, from the Burning Mitten. Next up, oh, this is going right now in a back bedroom from the Scented Squirrel. This is Mold Cider. Jess, you did yourself proud. This is beautiful. So um, this one, if I can read this, it's kind of small. Ripened apples, oak moss, cinnamon, nutmeg, clove, orange zest, and lemon peel. So the spicing is just right in this, but you get that kind of almost fermented fruit and then the spices on back, so it has a depth to it. I love this and really strong. That's going in the back from the scented squirrel that was mulled cider. Uh, this one from Up the Creek I did yesterday, uh, cranberry rhubarb. So this was so good that I had to go in and order a bag of it because that's how I roll. And this was, um, the cranberry rhubarb, the cranberry is such a nice um, counterpoint to the rhubarb. You know, sometimes strawberry rhubarb, I don't know, it has rubbed me the wrong way, but cranberry, that additional tartness, just perfect. So sweet and tart together, I loved it, from Up the Creek Scents. Next from Nellie's Acres, we have Amish Friendship Bread, and this is their, uh, she has palm wax, so um, it needs a hotter melter. And this is, it had that bread note and then cherry and raisin, I would say, and it's a medium throw, and I really enjoyed that one. I have quite a bit that I ordered from her, and I am happily working my way through. Next, I had a sample from Rainbow Melts of Sugar Cookie Cheesecake, and unusual for Rainbow Melts, I really didn't get much from this. It was very light, so, and it was relatively new, um, but in any case, it was a pleasant scent, just on the lighter side. From Britta's Creepy Treasures, again from a random act of kindness. Thank you, Cassandra. This was um, French lavender, waffle cone, vanilla bean marshmallow. Beautiful. I love. There is not a lavender I don't enjoy. So this is more on the herbal side and then mixed with the vanilla bean mar uh, marshmallow and the waffle cone. It softened it, added that bakery note. Beautiful. From Britta's Creepy Treasures. Uh, from Abby Lane Scents, another random act of kindness, and I thank you. This was strawberry jam and strawberry sugar cookies. Um, this one um, wasn't so long lasting. Um, I like the strawberry jam note, um, a little bit, you know, the artificial kind of strawberry, um, very candied, and it was a high throw from Abby Lane Scents. And this one was, uh, wow, from the Killing Us All collection. This was from Sweet Sage Scents. Uh, this is called Puggin' Around the Christmas Tree. She has a pug dog. This was so abundantly strong. So Cider Lane, Cinnamon Stick, and Oh Christmas Tree. So mainly the pine note was first, then the apple and the spice. And it was just so strong that after about half an hour, I had to turn it off. So if you have that one, um, her wax tends to be very strong and um, heavily spiced from Sweet Sage Scents. So a little piece will do you. And lastly, I have two from Scentsy. So my beloved um, marshmallow mint. Oh, 
and I didn't finish this. I've only used two cubes. They were very long lasting. This is just the creamiest, soft peppermint. So soothing. I've been putting this on at night. I love this. So of course I have ordered more and I put it in my club and I adore this scent. So I want it in my life forever. Beautiful. And next, this was recommended by my friend Susan Fitzpatrick, who also is one of my Scentsy consultants. Winterberry Apple Tea. I cannot tell you how much I love this scent. So if I remember correctly, this is Cranberry Apple Tea and Honey. Oh my goodness. I would not have thought to put, I don't know, cranberry with tea. This is gorgeous. It's so um, comforting of a scent, lightly spiced, but wow, the cranberry and the apple and the tea together. It's just different. I'd never smelled this before. So very beautiful. And that is my star of the show this week. Really enjoy this. You know, I didn't buy Scentsy for years. I don't know what was my problem because they have some beautiful scents. I'm really impressed. So that is all. I thank you so much for watching this. Um, I have finished my last business trip and I have three days of cleaning up files this week and three days next week and then I am a retired person. But I'm done with my last business trip. It was a little rough, I will tell you. Walking out of the plant for the last time and everybody was so kind and lots of goodbyes and lots of calls and it was... Um, and we wouldn't, couldn't hug one another, you know, although I did steal a couple of hugs. Shh, don't tell. Um, it's tough. You know, I'm happy to be retiring, but I've had you know, a happy career and I will miss all of my friends. But we're, we pledge to keep in touch and I hope we will do. So thank you so much for watching. Please hug your families. Stay safe. We're almost getting through this pandemic. Vaccines are on the horizon. I know, you know, people have different opinions about that, but it, it look, feels like we are you know, going to come through this. So stay safe, hug your families. And if I don't talk to you before then, have the merriest of Christmases, um, happy holidays, whatever you celebrate, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.